28. I think that's the count. 28 or 29. Could be 30. Well, actually, I didn't. Hold on. I want to get this number halfway right. Uh, uh, give me one moment. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I'm like that old guy scrolling through his phone that pisses you off. I'm doing that right now, real time with you. Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. <clears throat> so, <laughs> this is a pretty crazy stat. Actually, I was, I was really shut swam. Double checking. Um, <clears throat> the winemaker for uh, today's offer has made over 30 100 point wines. Rephrase that. He has garnered over 30 100 point scores in the span of a decade, maybe less. That's impressive, right? That's we're talking. We're talking three or four different critics. We're talking multiple vintages, multiple stylistic shifts. We're talking when you can when you can do that. I mean that. That's gold, baby, right? I mean that. That's above and beyond. That's like. Uh, I don't know, man. Like the first growths pull that shit off. Like literally, like. Who? Michelle Chaputier? Maybe close? Ah, Benoit Touquet, man. Dude knows how to make wine, but he learned from the best. Uh, he trained in Bordeaux and then found his way to the States and then uh, got, a, got some serious jobs uh, working with Andy Erickson, Screaming Eagle, Ovid. Um, he worked at Ovid. He, uh, Arietta, worked at Arietta. He, uh, and then uh, became the wine maker at Realm and shot Realm into superstardom. I wish I could get a bottle. I can't. We're kind of a big deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't get a sniff of that stuff myself. But what we can get a sniff of is Benoit's uh, own wines. Uh, he makes um, uh, beautiful wines under the Fet Man label, uh, which is his higher end label. And then he makes what is quite possibly the top value premium Cabernet in the Napa Valley under the teeter-totter label. And that's what we got going on today. We got teeter-totter. The 2021 Napa Valley Cabernet. Look at that color. Wow. Um, Benoit's a smart cookie, French winemaker, French trained, but California raised. So he has a sense of balance, structure, symmetry in the wines that he garnered from his um, learnings uh, over the sea. And then he also has uh, the context of what people are looking for in Napa Valley Cabernet, which is that richness, that plush texture, that insane fruit component, the sun shining through the wine. And uh, I think what makes him so great is he manages to convey both. You know, he was in the classic Bordeaux camp and he was in the Michel Rolon camp. He learned from both. And he was smart enough to assimilate that information and, and create a wine that appeals to friggin' everybody. Right? I mean, this wine falls into the what's not the love camp. Napa Valley Cabernet, actually mostly Rutherford here. He used to use a little more of like St. Helena, Yountville. The rumor mill has it that's mostly Rutherford in here. And then he does a little secret. He, he puts a little Charbonneau in here. I think he puts a little Petit Syrah in here. You know, some great old wine Charbonneau Petit Syrah. And in case you didn't get the memo, Petit Syrah is the no longer secret blending grape variety in the Napa Valley. A lot of people use Petit Syrah to create a more compelling Napa Cabernet, i.e. adding color and structure. Uh, and the Petit Syrah grapes are much less than Napa Valley Cabernet grapes are. So a lot of people are utilizing that, especially in the value side of these blends. And uh, Benoit being the smart cookie, he knows. Uh, so you get gorgeous, uh, I'm just, just, this is beautiful silky purple ruby yummy it looks delicious you know when a wine looks delicious like when it glows and and uh and and benoit's wines uh, uh they glow man they just look freaking delicious all french oak bien sir mm. Ooh. that's a quick drink that's a that's a 15 minute bottle even at 10 in the morning, we got, got, the, got the coffee right here. 
I can go back and forth between these two. Mm. Delicious cup of joe and follow it up with some delicious Napa Valley Cabernet. Man, you know, this stuff just sings, and, and it always has. We've been fortunate to be able to sell this label for, for quite some time from them, even though we don't have access to the Realm wines, but Realm is only part his gig, I think, you know, so there's other factors in play. But this is all Benoit. Benoit's a realist, man. I love him. Um, he, he knows, it's funny, you know, a lot of the top winemakers in the Napa Valley, their wines are like the value woods. You know what I'm saying? Like Benoit's wine at Teeter Totter is amazing. Um, I've only had it once or twice, but even like, uh, like Thomas Rivers Brown, you know, the Rivers Marie wines are priced much less competitively than the wines that he consults for with other properties. Um, you know, there's this little trend of like, you know, yeah, I'm a sensationally rich winemaker now, but still, I kind of remember where I came from, and maybe some of the people they consult or work with have a little different perspective on how the business works. And these guys are the smart ones, you know, where they're we're making these labels with access to great fruit and charging a very reasonable price for it. And man, Benoit does it, boy. Mm. This stuff is supple, engaging, bright, balanced, rich. It's kind of everything. I can see why the dude gets like 100 points every time he sneezes. This is beautiful gear, um, which we were selling quite well, by the way, at, the, at its original $65 tariff. But shh, we're running a special price for you guys. We're running, we're running a special price for you guys of $35 a bottle. 35 bucks. 35 bucks on the down low. So um, you got to put the wine in your checkout when you check out, and then the, the price will pop, and um, you will be psyched. Um, 93 Dunnick, 94 Suckling, there's scores, there's everything, blah, 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 greatest value in Napa Cabernet, blah, 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 blah. It's all there. We're merely handing it to you. Um, the work's done. The price is made. We're simply conveying the wine and the information to you, and if you don't buy it, at this juncture, if you're a fan of Napa Valley or just a fan of Cabernet or just a fan of delicious red wine at a great price, it's, yeah, that's on you, not us. We've done our job. Brilliant, brilliant wine from Benoit Touquet. Boom.